Hello and welcome back to LearnStock videos. This video provides a comprehensive overview of paper chromatography. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Let's dive right in. A paper chromatography is used to separate dye mixtures. The technique relies on the principles of solubility and adsorption to achieve effective separation. Solubility is the capacity of a substance to dissolve in a solvent. Adsorption is the capacity of a substance to stick to surfaces. There are two types of paper chromatography, ascending paper chromatography and descending paper chromatography. This video covers simple ascending paper chromatography. The process begins with the preparation of the setup comprising a container, solvent, paper, and the dye mixture to be separated. Then draw a baseline near the paper's end with a pencil known as the start line. A pencil is used because it does not dissolve in the solvent. To initiate the separation, a sample of the dye mixture is carefully placed on the start line. The paper is then immersed in the solvent and covered to prevent dye evaporation. In cases where the dye is colorless, a locating agent is introduced, reacting with the dye to produce visible colored spots. As the solvent ascends through the paper, it carries the dye components, resulting in distinct colored spots. This phenomenon occurs because different substances in the dye exhibit varying solubility and adsorption characteristics. More soluble substances dissolve rapidly, moving faster with the solvent, while those with high adsorption tendencies stick to the paper, progressing more slowly. To enhance the understanding of the separation process, an illustrative example is provided. The image shows spots of different colors on the paper, with each color representing a separated component. As shown, the substance forming a purple spot has the highest solubility and the lowest adsorption, ascending the paper faster. On the other hand, a substance with a red spot demonstrates the lowest solubility and highest adsorption, moving more slowly. An important quantitative aspect of paper chromatography is the calculation of retention factor values. The RF value represents the ratio of the distance moved by a spot from the start line to the distance moved by the solvent. The formula for RF values is the distance moved by the spot divided by the distance moved by the solvent. No units are associated with RF values as they cancel each other out. For a practical application of RF values, consider a scenario where the solvent moves 5 cm on the paper, the purple dye moves 4 cm, and the red dye moves 2 cm. The RF value of the purple spot is calculated as 4 over 5, while the RF value of the red spot is 2 over 5. To recap, paper chromatography is used to separate dye mixtures. It separates the mixtures based on their solubility and adsorption. A substance with high solubility ascends faster on the paper. A substance with high adsorption ascends slowly on the paper. The retention factor is the ratio of the distance moved by a spot from the start line to the distance moved by the solvent. The retention factor value is found by dividing the distance moved by the spot over the distance moved by the solvent. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our scientific adventures. Until next time, stay curious.